my beautiful people you are welcome back to my channel thank you very much for always coming out here if you are here for the first time please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up thank you very much god bless you <laughs> they say one that shall never cease to end in fact we don't see finish for this country nothing will remain when nigerians never see today bandits have come out to give reasons why they kill kidnap, commit all the atrocities in this country. You know, say Nigerians, don't they cry? They tell the government, say, this mission will not enter, you know, negotiating with bandits and all that. That is not going to help issue. That you people <laughs> will not just go dig on a grave for this thing when I enter. It just be like, say, the whole thing now is just coming to play out. Nigerian government have decided, you know, to... Uh, negotiate with bandits. These are people that have displaced millions of Nigerians. These are people that have killed millions of Nigerians, making life, you know, uh, unbearable for people. Now, instead of the government to do the needful, no, they say no, that will not be the way they will do one. That the best thing they will do is to negotiate with them, give them amnesty, or can I say rehabilitate them. We all know now that language when they talk, rehabilitation, what they did to Boko Haram, the repentant Boko Haram. You know, say this country, we have repentant Boko Haram. We also have repentant bandits and all that. But funny enough, all these repentant Boko Haram, whatever, Nigerian government, you know, are calling and all that. Till today, they have never taken the military to where their commander is. So what is going on? Who is fooling who? Now, now, bandits, come they talk, say, the reason why then they kidnap Nigerians and all that. And we are even telling the government, the president, to come and speak, you know, to them. If not, say, they're not gonna stop this matter. And Nigerians come, they talk, they talk, they talk, they talk. Who are these people? What are they made of? That you are asking the president of a country to come and address you? That for what? According to them, they said the government neglected them. <laughs> this matter can't tire me because I don't know as they take neglect them. Whether the whether the bandits were uh, on salary before by the federal government, we don't know because so many things have been happening. They they do us the more you look. The less you see. So, hello, guys. We, we all understand all that as we progress. This. But before then, please, if you are here for the first time, kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Also, click the follow button for more updates from us. Thank you very much for always stopping by. God bless you. Now, let's get to the news in full. The bandits that are operating in the northwestern part of Nigeria. I've revealed the reason why they decided to engage in the art of kidnapping and killing Nigerians in the area. During an interview with Daily Trust, those bandits terrorizing Niger, Zamfara, Kastina, and Sokoto State disclosed that they kill and kidnap people because they were being neglected since the death of the former head of state, General Sani Abacha. To mention the view, in Kadodan state, many have been adopted by this bandit, while 18 people have been killed during attack in communities of Ilobi and Chico local government area of the state. Somewhere, Ari Won, the Commissioner for International Security and Home Affairs in the state, said that in the last two days, uh, Anaba quarantine. Waziri, Karantin, Shaku, then uh, Ragasa in Ilabi and Chico local government area were attacked by bandits. He added that properties were destroyed as houses and bands were burned down in Anaba and close to 20 cattle were stolen and many fowls were slaughtered and took away. 
He added that after killing several bandits through the targeted hair operations, many people of the village were kidnapped. Why the Cardona state governor, Governor Nasa Erufai, lauded the Nigerian troops for the success of winning against bandits and prayed for the citizens who have lost their souls in the attack. Now, I don't hear the reason why these people call the bargain. So, we are Nigerian government. We are Gumi, Ahmed Gumi, they have been preaching peace and all that. When they hear these people, they can never repent. All these people that are terrorists, they can never repent. Nothing will make them repent. That is just the truth. All right. Someone said, yeah, I I never blame you, bandits. It's because of the useless governors and leaders, politicians we have in the South. Yeah. Who does not know their left from right? All because they will eat animal like you okay all because they will eat animal like you will be saying they neglected uh, uh they neglected you coward all right okay someone said yeah, gumi and other sponsor of terrorism in nigeria told them to clear that these are strategies employed by these criminals anyway that said uh, nothing lasts for long on the side as far as life cannot be forever, there is nothing that has beginning. Has uh, sorry that here, there is nothing that has beginning, right? That does not have ending. All these things will end. <laughs> but bait me. Whoever that has been sponsoring bandits in Nigeria, whoever that made so many Nigerians lost their souls, making people to live in agony, they will never know peace. And God, the wrath of God will be for them. What Nigerians are passing through now, oh, even for their fifth generation, I don't do this, but let me just do this because it's just too much. Even in their fifth generation, their fifth generation, they will see the impact of what they've done. So hello, guys. I'm going to drop it here. Let's hear from you. What's your view on this? Leave your opinion below the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you very much. God bless you. Bye for now.